Welcome everyone, thank you so much for joining in. So right now, looking at this coin and Bitcoin price action, you can see guys, since the price actually broke out of this upper line of the descending broadening wedge, we have seen a very, very impulsive move. But if you monitor this price movement right now in an hourly time frame, we are forming another descending broadening wedge, which is also flashing a very, very bullish scenario because right now, the price of Bitcoin has already closed above the upper line area of this descending broadening wedge because you can see here we had a similar descending broad scenario once the price was able to break out of it a very very impulsive move followed after that so right now this is also descending broadening wedge in hourly time frame and this is also flashing that hey this move right now could be very very impulsive move because not only this descending broadening wedge is playing out but also if you remember this reversal pattern what i like to talk time and again in my video this one, two, three, four reversal scenario. And this reversal scenario is also flashing a move here in an upper direction. But to form this reversal scenario, what price of Bitcoin need to do right now is to break the neckline area. So exactly at this neckline area, we are finding some sort of rejection. You can see here, right? Weak rejection here, another rejection. And right now, this candle is also showing a rejection at this neckline area. So what are we actually waiting here so if the price of bitcoin right now is able to close above this 40,950 price level if we are able to find support above this line then this could actually indicate a very very impulsive move here and which price target are we focusing right now if this let's say if this is going to play out as a descending broadening wedge so if this is going to play out as a descending broadening wedge we would look at swing high to swing low area this is going to be the target area which is around 43,000 price level if this is going to play out as a descending broadening wedge and along with that if the price is going to break out of this neckline area that is going to flash another buy scenario because in that case from this neckline till the bottom area you can see we could be also heading towards this exact target area so right now this price movement could be heading towards the 43,000 price level because not only this descending broadening wedge scenario is flashing this 43,000 but also this 1, 2, 3, 4 reversal pattern is flashing this 43,000 target level and if this is not going to be a descending broadening wedge and this 1, 2, 3, 4 reversal this could again guys again play out as a double bottom scenario because in a double bottom you can see this move here to the downside and look at this here this is a clear double bottom scenario so if this is going to play out as a double bottom you can see this exact is the neckline area so if we are able to break out of this neckline area along with the one two three four reversal pattern this is going to be a triple confirmation first one with this descending broadening wedge second one with this one two three four buy reversal pattern and the third one would be double bottom scenario which is all flashing forty three thousand price target level at this current stage so let's see what four hour time frame is flashing us right now so now if we look at this price action of bitcoin in a four hour time frame you can see guys right now the price of bitcoin is trying to re-enter this rising trend line because this rising trend line has acted as a very very strong support back then and now we are also facing some resistance with the same supportive rising trend line because now if this is going to play out as a descending broadening wedge which i just showed you in an hourly time frame then there is a very high chance of price to actually close above this rising trend line and then continue further in an upper direction as i've already said you guys 43,000 price level is where we are actually targeting right now so 43,000 is somewhere here so this is the target area for this breakout scenario because each and every trend line once the previous high structure has been broken it has turned out to be a very very parabolic move because you can see only if you only focus this candle here right this candle here so you can see every time when we were able to break the previous high structure for example you can see this here was the previous high right but once we were able to break out of this previous high structure you can see a very very bullish candle followed after that and price also headed clearly in an upper direction here we had the similar scenario breaking the previous high structure followed a bullish candle so right now what we are also forming is similar price structure guys breaking the previous high structure here could actually indicate a very very bullish move and not only that we would also be re-entering the rising trend line which is showing us where the trend of bitcoin might be possibly heading at this current stage so this is what i see looking at the price action bitcoin in an hourly time frame and in a four hour time frame so now let's also look at this in a bigger time frame so if we look at the price action of bitcoin in a weekly time frame and use this fibonacci level from this swing high till the swing low area you can see right now exact 
at this 2.272 Fibonacci level, we found rejection. So if we are going to break out of that descending broadening wedge in a smaller time frame and also this one to two buy reversal pattern along with that the double bottom scenario if that is going to play out the price of bitcoin could be heading towards the next target area of 2.414 fibonacci level which is at 44,500 price level so 43,000 price level is our target area looking in a smaller time frame but according to this Fibonacci level 2.414 is also going to be our target level and not only that this target area right this target area which is around 44,600 not only this Fibonacci but also including the CPR indicator let me switch this time frame into daily time frame right so if you look at this in a daily time frame you can see right now this air three line for this month the end destination for Bitcoin price action until the end of January month is exactly also at the price level of 44,600 area so right now 43,000 is going to be my short-term target and my end target is going to be 44,600 price level so this is what I see looking at the price action of Bitcoin in a daily time frame four hour time frame and also in an hourly time frame so now let's also have a quick look at Ethereum price action so now if we start this analysis by looking at this price action of Ethereum USD in an hourly time frame you can see guys the price of Ether has clearly left below the lower line area of this ascending channel because you can see here this ascending channel lower line has acted as a very very strong support right support but price of ether could not find support we failed below it we had a pullback but you can see this same trend line which previously acted as a support acted as a resistance it did not allow price to close inside this ascending channel and now we are seeing a different kind of price movement so what could be the next possible scenario for price action of ether because right now looking at this price action what i believe is that ether might be making this new ascending channel right now because along with this ascending channel right if i show you this price structure here along with this ascending channel what this also mean is that this movement here this movement is a clear sign of an symmetrical triangle scenario so you can see since we are already approaching the final stage here guys this is actually looking like we are going to see a really nice breakout in an upward direction because if this is going to follow as a ascending channel which i just showed you you can see right now this breakout here could lead us to another bullish move in an upper direction so in that case if we would see any sort of a price breakout what i am actually looking around is this price movement here so this price movement could bring us to price level of 1450 1460 price level so this here right now this price breakout could be a very very bullish move in an upper duration for ethereum because not only just with this symmetrical triangle if you would look at this let's say in a four hour time frame if you look at this price action in a four hour time frame you can see ascending triangle we had this similar price structure right breaking out of this ascending triangle the upper line area led to a really nice move in an upper duration and right now in a four hour time frame what could be also forming is another ascending triangle scenario for ethereum usd in a four hour time frame and if this is also going to find support above the upper line area of this ascending triangle which is going to be around 1260 price level so if we are able to find support above it this is going to flash another very very parabolic move in an upper duration right so in a bigger time frame you can see for ether so you can see guys in a weekly time frame for ethereum usd our target of 1220 has been triggered right and this is also exactly where we are finding some rejection at this current stage but if you look at this this line has also previously acted as a resistance, so it's nothing new but as i've already showed you the target in a smaller time frame is somewhere around 1420 1450 price level so this is going to be our end target and the next target for ether would be around 1370 and after that 1450 1460 is going to be my final target so this is what i see right now looking at the price action of ethereum and bitcoin so guys this is it for today i hope this video was helpful enough if that's the case hit the like button and also if you're watching this for the first time hit the subscribe button and the bell so by saying this i'm signing out my name is anu bye bye guys